Today's Monday, July 21st, and we're in base camp. Uh, great weather, and uh, we're planning to head up to advanced base camp tomorrow, and that'll be the start of our summit rotation. So the 22nd, which is Tuesday, we'll head up to advanced base camp, spend one night, and then the following day, move up to camp one, day after that, camp two, day after that, camp three, day after that, camp four, putting us at camp four on July 26th, and uh, weather pending and route conditions pending will We'll go for the summit at night, late around midnight, and uh, hopefully summit on July 27th. The weather pattern looks good. Uh, um, right now the winds are decreasing. Um, uh, recently the, the wind speed was very strong on the mountain near the summit, uh, 100 mile per hour winds up high, but that's dropped down. And the wind should be dropping down to around 30 to 40 kilometers per hour on the summit for the next week. And uh, there's no precipitation no snow in the forecast which is great so the, the existing snow that uh, fell over the last week that has accumulated should be consolidating the next couple days as we start to head up so uh, conditions are looking good we just have some work to do fixing our climbing route from camp three to camp four and then camp four to the summit through the bottleneck and the traverse section so still uh, quite a bit of work to do in terms of climbing the mountain but uh, very fortunate and very happy that we've got a good weather forecast and uh, good route conditions up high. There's three other main groups uh, here in base camp. There's an Italian group um, that's uh, partnered with the Pakistani group and that's in celebration of the, the first ascent of K2 in uh, 1954. So those guys uh, might actually go for the summit attempt a day or two before us. Um, so that's a, a team comprised of, of two Italian climbers and, um, and six or eight Pakistani climbers. And then there's two other teams in base camp um, organized by uh, Pakistani outfitters. And it's really just a mix of climbers. There's some Greeks, uh, some Czechs, some Polish, and, and, uh, and sort of people from all over. Um, but um, definitely uh, probably, probably around 50 or 60 climbers here in base camp overall. And Our little team's doing good. We've been uh, dubbed the American team by the other climbers in camp here, which is cool. And uh, uh, out of our, our four-person climbing team, um, myself, Rick, Alan, and Matt, uh, Rick has decided to, to hang out here or perhaps uh, head out um, the next few days, uh, not continue with the summit push, but both Alan and Matt are very excited to... Uh, continue and, uh, and make the summit attempt with me and uh, our Sherpa team of Topki, uh, Ang Searing and, and uh, Furkancha are also very excited to be climbing with us. They're actually up high right now doing a load carry and they'll come back and rest and then head up with us in a few, a few days. But uh, everything's looking good. We're just uh, keeping our fingers crossed the weather will hold and the, and the route conditions will be good and there won't be too much new snow up high. We're worried a little bit about the deep snow um, above Camp 4 and, and trail breaking there, but hopefully it won't be too deep for us. You know, Pakistan's been great. This is my first trip to Pakistan, and the people have been very friendly, very warm, and welcoming to us. Um, we're the only Americans that we know of in this region that we've come across, um, but uh, everyone from our local Pakistani agents to, to our, uh, our military uh, liaison officers have been very warm and generous and welcoming, and we've made great friends with them, and uh, we're having a great time. So I uh, have nothing but positive things to say about the Pakistani people that we've met and uh, had time to interact with here in the last month. So uh, right now, sort of on the, the edge of base camp, here's the mountain. You can look up towards the summit there. Wow. And personal tents. This is our massive dining and communications tent. The uh, Pakistani cook tents and in the distance there Chogalisa. And as I come up the slope here uh, we're looking across at Broad Peak. So quick panorama one more time. There's Broad Peak and over to K2.